I don't like myself on photos. Maybe it's because I'm ugly. Or I should buy new clothes. No, girl, you're awesome. It's probably your poses that you need a little bit of help with. Hello, friends. My name is Anastasia. I'm a portrait photographer and content creator based in the city of Gods, Athens, Greece. In today's video, I'm going to share with you posing tips for real people, not models. Thank God models don't need my help. So I'm not referring to a case when you're having a professional photo session with a photographer because the photographer should actually guide you with posing tips during the whole photo shoot. As a photographer myself, I always guide my clients how to pose, what to do with their hands, with their face expressions and etc. Here I want to share with you some really easy tips to remember when you're taking selfies at home or going for a walk with your friends and want to take photos of each other. But before we proceed to the tips, let's thank the sponsor of this video. <laughs> Joking, I'm new here, I don't have any sponsors. I'm so funny, I know that. Tip number one is going to be about body poses. When you're standing, pay attention to your core. Put your shoulders back and your chest to the front. Look at me now moving. When I straight my body, my body shape looks better. Also, avoid to stand like a column. Try to make angles with your body. Turn your body 45 degrees to the camera and try to play with angles, angles, angles. And here we go to tip number two. Separate your arms from your body. Don't stick your arms to your body because like that they seem bigger than they are and the whole image isn't flattering. Always make tiny angles with your elbows. Don't keep them straight like this, but give your arms some space and create small angles like that. Pay attention to your legs so you are not like this on photos. Put your whole body weight to one leg and rise a little bit the other one like this. Put one leg to the side and don't forget about your curves. Just have fun with them, embrace your femininity. Also, very often, never mind if we pose the right way, the photos come out unrealistic like something is not right so a pro tip for more realistic photos is actually to move yes make movement poses and like that we are on tip number three make movement make small movements back and forth like this or do the walking pose just walk back and forth and ask your friend to take photos of you in a burst mode on your phone in this mode you can take a lot of photos at once and then choose the one that you like the most and if your phone doesn't have this mode okay ask your friend to take a lot of photos of you while you're moving tip number four sitting poses angles again just remember that and doesn't matter what body shape you have, but if you make angles with your body, you will look great on every photo. Look at this great pose that all women should use. One leg on the other and move to the side like this. Now your legs look actually longer. Tip number five, facial expressions. Work on your expressions in front of the mirror smile, laugh, try to be serious, just play with your face. Then make a lot of selfies with different expressions. Now you have what to compare. Definitely you're not going to like everything, but you will have one photo that you like. Then find your best side. All people have their favorite face side. Our face is not symmetrical, so guess what? Both sides are different. So experiment with this. Take selfies from the one side, then from the other side, then straight face. And then you will see what you like the most. I prefer to make photos from this side. And here we go. Posing tips are followed up with some technical tips, not that difficult to remember, but so crucial for a good photo. Pay attention to your light. Come closer to the window so your face will be fully covered by the light. Look, when we have shadows like that, we have a strange image. We look older and tired and we don't need that. So if you're taking selfies at home, go closer to the window. And if you're outside, make photos at golden hour when the light is soft and won't create strong shadows. Tip number six, relax your eyes and lips. You can do that if you close your eyes, breathe in, and out and then open your eyes for the lips smile 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 i know this looks funny but it's the only way <laughs> tip number seven 
emotions. I always encourage my clients to show their emotions during the photo shoot because that is that makes that photo more real. Because when people look at that kind of photos, they subconsciously think that what happened then was real. But if you are alone taking selfies, begin with smiling. This is actually a psychological fact that if you randomly smile, your mood gets better. Tip number 8. Camera tilt. Put your phone straight. I will actually show it to you with a white background so you will see it clearly. So keep your phone straight. Like that you will not have body distortions. But if you put your phone like this, then your head will look bigger and your legs shorter. But if you put your phone like that, your legs will look bigger and longer and your head smaller. So pay attention to this. Also, if you want to look higher on your photos, ask your friend to take your pictures from here, from this height. On what tip are we? I'm not really sure. Let's say it's tip number 9. Take a lot of photos. Do you know that to take one good photo you actually need to take a ton of them? Yes, that's right. Sometimes it takes up to 200, 300 photos to take just one. And how it actually works? We are going for a walk with our friends and we want a new photo for our Instagram. We ask our friends to take a couple of photos, maybe some more. <laughs> they take a couple photos of you and then they say, come on, let's go, let's have fun, let's go eating ice cream, I don't know, I'm hungry. We are not outside to take just photos. Pick a friend that actually enjoys taking photos, so you can have fun with that. Go outside and just take photos. You don't have to rush, you don't have to go anywhere. You have plenty of time to go to a nice location with your friend and take photos. And final technical trip that you should pay attention is grid. All mobile phones have grid mode, you can put it on and see those lines vertical and horizontal. They actually will help you a lot with framing your background and putting yourself in the right position on your photo. And finally, this is not really a tip, but uh, try to get some inspiration. Watch movies, read magazines, open Pinterest. Try to get any kind of inspiration and see the poses that people are using. A good mood board actually helps a lot with posing. So you don't have to uh, remember what pose should I use now or how, how I use this or, or, or what. You can make checkpoints of what poses you just used. That's it. I hope I haven't overwhelmed you a lot. Follow along on Instagram. I'm posting there daily behind the scenes from photo shoots, my work, some photo tips and actually a little bit of my life. That's it for today. See you soon.